Welcome back, everybody. It is May 13th, and I'm trying a new property that I've never hunted before over here in Pennsylvania. It's right off the edge of the uh, highway, so you can't really hear much, but my buddy said there's turkeys here, and he owns a good chunk of property right here behind it, so we're going to give her a try. Hopefully a turkey starts gobbling here at some point. Turn you on if we find anything. Well, I've been uh, standing here listening all morning and I haven't heard any gobbles. There's a really steep ravine right there. I think I'm gonna walk down through that and go up the other side and see what's going on over there. That's where this little little seven point met his maker down here in this little swale hole. Here in Pennsylvania you're not allowed to you're not allowed to take those things, so it'll sit there till it squirrels and whatnot chew it up. Not having any luck in the turkey department though. I walked all the way through this top over here. And then I got down to this ravine and walked the edge of this ravine to this point. And uh, I haven't, haven't heard any turkeys at all. So, we'll keep after it here. Never heard any in that woods at all, so we're gonna go see what we can find here before I gotta go to work. Have a bunch of my buddies are messaging me saying that they're ripping this morning. Not here. Well, that's a good group of jakes, but not what we're looking for. We need long beards, not jakes.
You got him! Got him! Heck yeah! Look at that! I figured you lost your touch, Skirman. It took you that long to kill that sucker. This one here? Well, I didn't kill it, he did. Look at that thing. It's got a broken one, non broken. Look at the beard on that sucker. This one, I don't know, nine inch, maybe? Yeah. He smoked him, jelly headed him. A little different than your shot. <laughs> yeah, my <laughs> shot wasn't very. My shot wasn't very pretty. I'll tell you that's that so much. much. Body shot on this guy. He's more of a head, but. Heck yeah, that's awesome. You you let your dad shoot it? Yeah, he didn't cut all the way down. <laughs> he evaded him again. Well, he doesn't like the call. This guy's... Is the next one's yours, right? All right. Hopefully. I didn't want to shoot him, but. Well. He was going out the back door. That's what this thing was doing again. That was the chicken turkey. One day I seen it strutting out here with a bunch of chickens. Oh yeah? Yeah. What? It was the craziest thing. I didn't have my camera, but there's chickens out there and that turkey was standing there strutting with them. Bring there one of them, there's two long beards. So the other one's still in there somewhere. I'm still in there. He heard, he heard a couple over here yet. Well, good deal, guys. Yeah. Beauty. This morning, that's for sure. yeah. Did you get a good video? No, no, it was not. Oh, it. Jesus, you had, one, you had one yeah. job. I was with him and Garrett was up on top of the field. Just to make so sure he didn't go out the back out. door. Right, he tried yep. to go out the back door, but we had a guy up here, so. Well, good deal, guys. Uh, Have yeah. a good one. My turkey hunt ended up being a total bust this morning. I still haven't heard a gobble in multiple days. Uh, I know that the birds are gobbling good this morning. I had multiple people uh, I was talking to via text or on the phone that said they were on gobbling birds and they're hammering. And uh, you've seen some hunters that had some success this morning. So obviously, I'm just not in, hunting in good areas really is what it comes down to. I know that uh, there's turkeys in some of the areas I'm at, but just because there's turkeys doesn't mean that there's long beards or mature turkeys there. So we're, uh, I was on my way to work this morning after I hunted and I came across a field that had uh, what looked to be two long beards in it. You know, there was one bird that was full strut and then there's another one that looked like a big one. I haven't uh, looked very closely yet, but it looked like a big turkey. And uh, I found the landowner and we're going to go down and ask him. So, well, fingers crossed he's going to give us permission to hunt those turkeys. I've, uh, I'm 0 for 4 so far this year on permission, so let's see if we can make it 1 for 4. Or it might be 0 for 5. We'll see. Or 1 for 5. I have numbers, I got all the numbers messed up. We're just going to see if he gives us permission here. I'm hoping. I'll be telling you in a second. Nobody was home. So I uh, went up and knocked on the door and stuff and nobody answered. So uh, we'll have to give it another try, but it's right up here by where I have to work. So it'll be pretty easy to uh, make contact with them here at some point, I think. We'll keep after them. 